you can implement reverb and delay lines rather simply in PD. I've got a patch that's playing back a sound file of a guitar playing a G. To implement reverb on this sound, I'll disconnect the final gain stage from the DAC. Now, I'll create an object called Freeverb. I'll, dis I'll connect the output of the final gain stage into the left and right inlets of Freeverb, that's for channel 1 and channel 2, and then the outputs of Freeverb into the DAC. Now, we'll play back the sound and hear Reverb. We can use a variety of arguments to change the wet-dry mix of Freeverb and as well the room size. To do this, we'll create a message called wet, dollar sign one, an H slider to feed values into this message. And we'll change the properties of the H slider to make it a bit narrower and taller, and then to feed output from zero to one. Now, we'll copy this and paste it twice, but change the message to be dry, and then room size. Now, we'll put the output of the message into the leftmost inlet of Freeverb. It doesn't need to go into the right inlet. And we'll play the sound and then we'll start to adjust the parameters. Let's loop it. So wet will adjust the uh, affected signal, dry will adjust the non-affected signal. So you hear more uh, punch, and room size will affect the overall size of the reverb. Okay, so now to write a delay line, We'll take the output of Freeverb and we'll create an object called Del Write with a tilde. And we'll name the delay line similar to how you'll name a table. So we'll call it Delay Left. And then we'll designate the length of the delay line. So let's say 4,000 milliseconds. Move the DAC down because we'll need some room. We'll leave Freeverb connected to the DAC, and then we'll also connect it to these delay lines. The idea here is that we'll get the sound straight out of Freeverb but then we'll get these delay lines discreetly in the left and right channels. So I'll create another del right object, but I'll call this delay right. One for the left channel, one for the right channel. Take the left output of Freeverb and put it into delay left, and the right into delay right. Now to read from these delay lines, I'll need to create an object called del read. Tilde and then the name of the delay line that I'm reading from. So here, delay left, and then finally, the space between reading and output. So this is the actual delay. Let's say a thousand milliseconds. I'll put this into the leftmost inlet of the DAC, copy it, adjust the argument here, so it's delay right, adjust the milliseconds, 1500, and put it into the right input of the DAC. Now let's take a listen. Oh, I've got to turn up the dry. Let's take a listen again. So now you hear two taps, one in the left speaker or headphone, one in the right speaker or headphone. And we've got this start of um, a multi-tap delay. Now you can use an object called VD to have a variable delay. You'll use the same del write to establish the delay line, but you'll use VD to read from it. Take out the time argument, and we'll feed it in using uh, the sig. So create a sig, and connect that to the inlet of VD, and then we'll connect a number box to sig. Now let's feed a value. So this is going to be the delay in terms of milliseconds. So we'll just 
pipe some value in, and still hear left and right taps. And the benefit here is that we have a little more flexibility on adjusting the taps. Let's loop it. And there's some zipping when you're trying to adjust it as the reverb happens. So you'd want to do the adjustment after the reverb played, or the um, delay played itself out. If we want to create more taps, we can just create more references to the delay lines and then pipe them into the DAC. So there you have a rather simple approach to incorporating reverb into your patches and delay, and you can get into more fine-tuned adjustment um, in creating multi-tap delays or creating some sort of delay that has a feedback element, which is really common in delay units. Um, but the simple act of creating the, de uh, the delay doesn't involve too much coding, and neither does the reverb.